And he said, for whom? So ever. I am the master. Ali is the master. Uh, next question. Uh, Mawla. Mawla. Means that friend. is a very important point. After admitting that the Prophet has did, did definitely said, because no one can deny hundreds of Sunni references. So, in front of the fact that the Prophet did say that for whomsoever I am the Mawla, Ali is his Mawla. He said, Man kuntu Mawla, for whom I am the Mawla, Ali is his Mawla. So some people try to change the meanings and say the Mawla can have many meanings, including friend. Yes. Many words in Quran has many meanings. But when the Prophet used Mawla for himself, was it just friend? If you believe that your responsibility towards the Prophet just to be friend with him, not to obey him, not to be led by him, will it be right? The Prophet himself used Mawla for himself. First, he said, Man kuntu Mawla, fa'aliyu Mawla. For whom I am the Mawla, Ali is his Mawla. Means the meaning of Mawla with the Prophet is being transferred by the Prophet to Ali Ali Islam, which is the leadership, which is the divine leadership. That is the reality of the matter. Leave aside those who try to escape and run away from the truth and try to turn their faces from the truth. But there are hundreds or more than hundreds of evidences that this is the announcement of the leadership of Muslims and Islam after the Prophet. But it is not the first announcement. In fact, the Prophet, peace be upon him and his whole progeny, right from the first announcement of Islam in Mecca, when he invited his close relatives, وَأَنذِرْ عَشِيرَتَكَ الْأَقْرَبِينَ That time, when he started disclosing that there is a message from God, he said, who will accept it will be my brother, my deputy, my khalifa, my wasi. And then Ali ibn Abi Talib was the only who said, I accept it. And from that day, the Prophet started telling Muslims about the leadership of Islam after the Prophet, which is for Ali ibn Abi Talib. If you take it from the first announcement of Islam in Mecca till the greatest announcement, which is Ghadir, you will find hundreds of places where the Prophet repeatedly said, for example, he said, Man kuntu mawlah, in Ghadir. But he said also in many places, Anta minni bimanzilati Harun min Musa. You, O Ali, from me, like Harun from Musa. And as you know in Quran, Harun was the deputy of Musa when Musa, as Allah in Quran said that, Khlufni fi qawmi. Good to note that in this month of the Hajj, in the first ten nights, there is two rak'at of salat, which is recommended to be recited every night between Maghrib and Isha, in which we recite after Alhamd and Qul Allahu Ahad, we recite a verse from Surah Al-A'raf, وَوَاعَدْنَا مُوسَى ثَلَاثِينَ لَيْلَةِ وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرِ فَتَمَّ مِقَاتُ رَبِّهِ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلَةِ 
وقال موسى لأخيه هارون الله is telling us to recite this verse in which Allah is mentioning that موسى told his brother هارون اخلفني في قومي you are my deputy خليفة in my قوم my community my followers وأصلح it means that Muslims should be prepared for the same or similar situation when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi peace be upon him and his progeny has according to order of Allah made Ali ibn Abi Talib his deputy and his khalifa after him in the great announcement of Al-Ghadir. Okay, and um, we've got a call on hold, but before I go to the call, if you could answer Brother Imran's question quickly as well, please. That was with regards to if there were so many companions there and they actually went to congratulate him afterwards, and he mentioned an incident 24 years later where some companions, I think he mentioned 11, testified to the fact that they were there. Well, then how... It was politics. It was merely politics. Those who did not want to give witness, they did not give witness because they did, want, they did not want bad relationships with the rulers of that time. Many details. I think we have no time tonight to go through it. But we can talk in the future why this announcement of Ghadir, which was witnessed by 125,000 companions, was not implemented. What happened? Then if such great number of people witnessed that announcement and gave allegiance, men and women, even, even women gave allegiance, by putting their fingers in the water. The Prophet ordered that water in which Ali ibn Abi Talib should put his fingers first. And all believer, believing women should come and put their fingers as a sign of allegiance. Then why? What happened in Saqifah 70 days after that? You know what happened? In fact, they, when the Prophet passed away, and Ali was busy with the Prophet's funeral, they made a rumor, false rumor, that Ali decided not to take any responsibility out of grief and sadness on the Prophet. And he said that I will never take any responsibility. You go and do you, your job yourself. When they told the Ansar this lie, they cheated the Ansar and they could fabricate or organize what happened in Saqifah. First of all, no Muslim can deny that the Prophet did say for whomsoever I am the Mawla, Ali is his Mawla. Then what happened after that? That is a matter of politics. Let us take other questions and... Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, yes, let's go to our next call. I'm not sure how many we've got waiting, um, but we'll, we'll see as we go along. Uh, but to the first of those callers, Assalamu alaikum. Yes, sir, brother, thank you for calling in. Your question, please. Again, I would uh, politely ask you to be very concise, please, just because we have very little time this evening. Okay, I will be concise, inshallah. Uh, I just want to ask uh, the Sheikh... Uh, what were the Prophet Wasallam's uh, reasons really for uh, making the announcement in Ghadir, given that, uh, you know, it's 250 kilometers north of uh, Mecca, and it doesn't really make sense really for the Muslims of Yemen, Taif, uh, the ones who lived uh, in, to the east of Mecca and to the west of Mecca and to the south of Mecca, to travel, you know, 250 kilometers north. You know, if he was going to be making such an important announcement, it would have made more sense to make it at, uh, in Mecca. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the question, brother. Um, uh, do we have another caller waiting? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, we we have uh, another caller. So I'll take down that uh, question as well, and then um, 
اوكي الو السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته اي هاف كويشن فور سيد موسوي بوسيبل اوكي بليز بليز جست يو نو وي نو ان القران مانشن ماني تايم از تشيلدرن اوف اسرائيل بني اسرائيل هو از اسرائيل از هيز بروفيت اور هو از اسرائيل يا اوكي 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 ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور كولين ان Um, I think that's it for now. Um, okay. So, yes, we'll just... Uh, sorry, before you... Um, the, we had a question that a, a lady a sister phoned in with. She went to do Hajj with her mum's uncle. Yeah. Um, and is that allowed or not? I think she's worried about mahram or non-mahram issues. Maybe it's from one of our sisters from another sect. I don't know. Mum's real uncle is her uncle as well. So, mum's real uncle is also mahram for the lady herself as well. And if it's a non-mahram, is that an issue or not? Non-mahram, in fact, it is, depends on the safety. It is not wajib for the lady to accompany a mahram. But she should be always in safe hands. She cannot travel when she is unsafe. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, apparently we've got a caller on hold. Let me just quickly take that question because I want to. I want you to reply to the brother who mentioned about Ghadir being so far outside Mecca. Yeah. Uh, that's the next question you're going to respond to, but before we uh, yes, before please. I should do that, let's just take the next caller. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu Uh, I've got two questions for you. Right, I'm going to um, ask you to be very, co- very concise, brother, please, yeah, because of time. Okay, then I've got um, two questions from a Sunni sister. She's asking me. Okay. One uh, is regarding the concept of matam uh, when we do azadari. Okay. And the permissibility of azad of okay. and uh, the use of zanjir. And my second question is regarding um, the view of. Abu Bakr, Umar and Aisha Uthman because I explained to her and showed her references from Sunni books regarding these and obviously she felt a bit hurt but I want to I want you to clarify for her if what, you could please what the view is what the view is of, of the fir- of the first three uh, and the, and the, the wife first three the... Khalifas and oh. Aisha the the, the 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 view the view okay thank you very much for, uh, for the call and thank you for being concise as well Um, sorry if I'm speaking very fast tonight. I'm just trying to get uh, Sayed through as many questions as possible. Okay. The question about Ghadir, he's saying it doesn't make sense that he should travel all this far. And in his understanding, all of these companions would have dispersed at Makkah, not they, they would go to Ghadir. Uh, see, brother, Allah knows where is the best place. You cannot claim that you know more than Allah. Allah sent his message when the Prophet was near Juhfa. Ya ayyuhal rasoolu ballag ma unzir alaykum rabbik. In Mecca, all Muslims were busy in the rituals of Hajj. And if you go to Mecca, inshallah, you'll know that You cannot expect all Muslims at one place because some of them will be in Mecca, some will be in Mina, some of them will be doing Tawaf, some will be doing Sa'i, some will be doing Mabit in Mina. So that's also not possible that for all of them to come at one place while performing Hajj because Hajj has got many steps and not all of them do all the steps at one time. And Allah knows when he wants his prophet to make the announcement. Allah ordered him there. And Allah ordered him to order Muslims. He told all Muslims, anyone who knows about this fact is responsible to convey it to those who don't know. And now we are responsible to convey it to you and to any, anyone who does not know about it. And every viewer who knows that the Prophet said that for whomsoever I am the Mawla, I am the Master, 
Ali is his master. It's